The cameras on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max really are freaking amazing. I've been taking a ton of pictures with both these phones and in this video I'm going to go through the ultimate camera features. So now we have an epic wide angle lens, slow motion with the front camera and super high dynamic range for some crazy quality shots. Guys, I'm excited. Let's get into it. Okay, so first up, probably the most used mode, and that is photo mode. So of course, what's really nice about the new iPhone 11s is that you can toggle between the various lenses. So on the iPhone 11, you have the ultra wide and the wide angle to choose from. And then on the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, you have the ultra wide, wide and telephoto. Here is a perfect example to show you guys the difference between the ultra wide, wide and telephoto lenses. And I'm just so glad iPhone finally have these different lenses. Another thing you can do in photo mode, just by swiping up is access a whole bunch of other features. So first up you can choose from a bunch of different filters, there are so many ones to choose from. Then you also have the timer, so you can choose a 3 second or 10 second timer. And the 10 second timer actually takes some burst shots, which is really cool and obviously this feature is really useful if you don't have someone to take a picture for you. You can also change the aspect ratios, which I really love, so whether you want something for Instagram stories or a square picture, you can just quickly access the aspect ratio and change that up. Here again are some examples for you guys, just so you can see what the various aspect ratios are. Another feature which I'm sure many iPhone users will already be familiar with is live mode. And if live mode is on, what this does is captures a few seconds while the photo was being taken. So if you ever want to go back and just get a little glimpse in time, then be sure to have live mode on when taking pictures. Another thing you may not know is within photo mode, when taking pictures, if you decide to take a video, you simply click and hold down on the shutter button and a video will start recording. If however you then swipe right, it'll actually lock the phone into the video recording mode and you can just carry on as you were. And if you click on the shutter button and swipe left, it'll take a bunch of burst pictures. Onto slow-mo mode and possibly one of my favorite modes on the iPhones. So what's really cool is you can actually toggle between the different lenses in slow-mo mode and decide which lens you want to take your slow motion in. And the only other thing you can do is turn the flashlight on or off in this mode. So here are some epic examples of slow-mo shots that I got using both the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro Max. I think what I love most about these slow motion shots from these iPhones is the quality. And I have taken many slow-mo videos on other phones and cameras and these ones quite frankly are just the bomb.com. As you can see you can also use slow-mo in a bunch of different scenarios and lighting situations but each and every time you get such an epic video and let's not forget you can now take slow motion videos using the front facing camera otherwise known as our favorite word slow fees. But all jokes aside another epic thing you can do is edit your slow motion videos so if you click on the edit button you can actually decide where you want the slow motion to begin or end. Apart from that you can also trim the video down so it's really nice that you can edit your slow-mo video after the fact and you don't have to get it perfect the first time. Now portrait mode has also had an epic little upgrade and if you head on over to portrait mode not only can you change some lighting options but you can now take portrait pictures of objects and it'll blur out that background that we've all come to love from portrait mode. If however you want to take one of those epic selfies with the blurred background as mentioned you can change up the different lighting situations. Some of them are questionable but it definitely depends on your scene but what you can do is if you click on this little F icon you can actually decide on how much blur you want in your background. So as you can see here the background blur changes as I toggle this function. Again, just so you guys can see, here are some examples of the different lighting options that you can choose in portrait mode. In some cases, you definitely need to tinker with the settings a bit, but what's also really cool is after you've taken your portrait image, you can go back and edit it. So once again, if you click on that edit button, you can toggle through the different lighting options to best suit the picture you've taken. Not only that, you can also still go back after you've taken your picture and change the blur. Just by clicking on that little F icon and deciding how much blur you want in your picture or not so that it looks amazing. 
Ah, the beautiful panoramic mode that I think a lot of people neglect but should definitely use way more. So once again, you can toggle through the various lenses and decide which one you want to use for your panoramic picture. Now there are some limitations within the iPhone panoramic mode, but nonetheless you still get some amazing results from using this mode and obviously speaking from experience, it's so easy to use and you definitely do not need a gimbal or anything of the sort to get these amazing pictures. It's simply all handheld. I know it's a little thing, but unfortunately you can only get your panoramic starting from the left, then swinging to the right. With other devices I've tried before, you can do it multiple ways, horizontally and vertically. But on the iPhone, it is a bit limiting. Nonetheless, we still have those epic lenses to choose from. And if you take a look from left to right, just how much you get in the shot, it's kind of mind blowing. And I definitely recommend you guys whip out your phones more often and try out this mode. Video mode is also the bomb.com and once again you can toggle between those lenses in this mode. Not only that, you can shuffle between each lens and digitally zoom into objects if you want. While taking a video you can also snap a quick picture just as you see here. And once again guys, the quality is just so incredible. As you can see this is digitally zoomed and there's so much detail in this picture. While taking videos you can also toggle between the lenses just as you see here. And I love the way Apple made it zoom in and out seamlessly between each lens while recording, if that makes sense. The stabilization is also unbelievable guys. And what's nice is if you head on over to the camera settings, you can change the video recording quality to pretty much anything you want. Then here are some examples of videos I took out and about and this was handheld guys. I did not have a gimbal for this exact shot. But of course, if you wanted to use a gimbal, you could. And for this shot, we used the Osmo Mobile 3. Once again, a really nice thing you can do is edit your videos once you've taken them. Just click on that edit button and you can trim it down right on the iPhone without using a secondary application, which I appreciate. More and more these days, I see so many people using the time-lapse mode and for good reason. You can capture so many memories in such a small amount of time, but I do always recommend that you use a tripod when using the time-lapse mode. Again, there are some limitations when it comes to this mode. You cannot change the speed in which your time-lapse is taken, but I think Apple got it just right and you don't need much more than this. As mentioned, I would always recommend using a tripod when getting your time-lapse, but you can also use a gimbal like the Osmo Mobile 3 to get an even more epic time lapse like this one where it swings slowly from left to right and captures all this interesting motion. Depending on your scene and how much you also want to capture in your time lapse, you can toggle through the lenses to get the best shot. This is such a fun mode to try in so many different scenarios and again, you can go back and edit your time lapse if you want right on the iPhone without having to use a secondary application. You can also crop it and add filters if you want. Then the night mode is shockingly good, guys. Unfortunately, you can't toggle it on. It'll just automatically appear when it detects the scene is too dark, but you'll know that it's on when you see that icon. And if you click on it, you can change the amount of time that it uses to take the picture. By adjusting the timing settings, you're actually telling the camera how much light you want it to capture. So by toggling on the maximum amount of seconds, you are telling it to get way more lighting in your shot so you can get the best picture. Here are some examples that I took with night mode. And like I said, it is unbelievable because all of these pictures were taken at night with a lot of darkness around. And again, if you can, use a tripod in this mode for the best results. Then after all your epic pictures have been taken, iPhone does have an amazing set of features to use to edit your pictures. And why it's so amazing is usually on other devices, I have to download an app like Lightroom to get the most amount of editing features so I can really tweak my photos. But with an iPhone, it's all already there. From saturation to brightness, vignetting, cropping and geometry, you name it, the iPhone editing app has it. And there is literally no need for a secondary editing application. Here are just some examples of pictures I took and then edited within the iPhone editing app. And I could honestly not be more thrilled because it is so frustrating having to import images into other apps to edit them. So it's so nice that everything can be done right here. At the end of the day, these iPhone 11s make capturing memories so epic. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can check out some of my other iPhone videos right over here. But I will see you in the next one. Toodles!